Hey YouTubers, I'm Jonah. And today, I'm gonna show you the two main wire voltage testers that I use around my house. The first one is this non-contact Sperry. The second one is the old school screwdriver pen tester. You can tell from its name, it's got a screwdriver tip and it's shaped like a pen. Both have their pros and cons. You can also tell I've had this tester for many years. You can buy any of these two testers at your local hardware store or at Amazon. Sperry Non-Contact Tester So the Sperry has a nice bright yellow color. Almost reminds me of a bright yellow highlighter marker. It says it can withstand up to 250 pounds of weight. Rated up to 1000 volts. It can withstand a 10 foot drop and a lifetime warranty. That's pretty good. So don't throw away the package like I did because at the back is the one and only battery we need to install it with. So notice at the back, that's where we're gonna install our new battery. We'll need a small Phillips screwdriver for this. So here is our slot for our battery. Notice the insulation of the batteries. The rough cross hatching side goes to the left side. Now we press our black button. Here we go. Now we have power. Now let's close it back up. First, we'll test out the outlet. So green means the outlet has power and it's hot or live. Another way to check it, as you can see, the outlet has power. When we press the black button, the flashing red light and the beeping noise tells us we have power. It even tells us the right side is hot and live. So now we'll test the GFI tester. Then we press the black button and there you go, it works perfectly. Now we can reset our GFI. So for the next test, I'm gonna shut off my main breaker downstairs. and I open up my fan switch downstairs in my washroom. Notice the switch is in the off position. So I wanna find out which one is my load wire or my hot wire. So I touch my bottom wire first and we have no power and that's correct. And then we touch our top wire. And again, we have no power and that's correct because I shut off the main breaker. But now I turn the breaker back on and let's see what happens. Notice again, the switch is in the off position. Now I touch the bottom and top wires. As you can see, when I turn my breaker back on, I now have power and the wire is hot and live. But according to my tester, both wires are hot and live. Because the Sperry is so sensitive, it picks up both wires as hot wire or live wire, therefore giving me a false reading. Because only one wire should be hot, 
not both wires. So I don't know which wire is the hot wire coming from the breaker or the load wire going to the fan. Now let's take a look at our old school screwdriver voltage tester. Screwdriver pen voltage tester. I now touch the bottom wire. As you can see, by using my thumb and touching the head of the tester, the light comes on. Now I touch the top wire to see what happens. Doing the same process with my thumb. And as you'll see, the light does not go on, which is correct. Which tells me the top wire is our load wire and is the wire going to the fan. Now I touch the bottom wire again. And our tester lights up. Which is correct. This tells me our bottom wire is our hot wire or live wire. So in this scenario, the screwdriver pen tester is much more reliable than the Sperry for finding out your hot wire or your load wire. Now we'll check out power from our outlet. So the disadvantage is that sometimes the red light is hard to see, especially in daylight. But when you turn off the light, you can tell a big difference. The light is now very visible. Oops, butterfingers. So as you can see, these testers both have their pros and cons. But I like them both. What do you think? I think it's great to have them both when checking out electrical voltage around your house. So if you liked my video and found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can always get my latest video. Thanks for watching.